What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean Kanoy. I do speaker videos, sound videos, as well as some adventure vlogs and some fun videos with my roommates. So if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. And today I'm gonna be making a video on how to make your speakers sound better for rock music. So let's get started right now. So before we get started, I just want to mention that I'm using a website called smarthomeowl.com which has an article that features one of my videos on how to make your car speakers sound better. So you can check them out. I'll leave a link right in the description and you can check out where I'm getting some of this information from. So first, you're obviously going to want to get into your audio control on your head unit which is just a press of a couple buttons and you can get your bass level, mid level, EQ stuff, your loudness, your faders and all the settings that you'll need to get everything set up perfectly. So obviously for rock music, you're gonna focus on the instrumentals. That'll be the most important part of rock music. And there's a couple of settings that are gonna be most useful for that. Mostly it'll be your bass level settings, your treble settings, and your mid settings. So those are what we're gonna focus on. And then there's a few other settings that might help as well. So the bass level settings are very important in rock music because in rock music you have all the loud drums and the bass line in the back, which are very important in how the song sounds. So if you go to your bass level, you're gonna wanna have your bass level at plus two, maybe plus three if your speakers can handle it. So and then moving on to your mid settings, this is not as important as the bass and the treble. So these can be left to zero because you're kind of balancing the background music with the artist's voice. So since we're focusing on the background music with the treble and the bass settings, the mid should be kept at zero. If you want to hear a little bit more of the artist's voice, maybe put it up a couple. If you want to hear more of the background music, maybe put it down a couple. So finally for the treble level, click on that and you're gonna want it at plus one or two, maybe even three, but you want to listen to it while you're adjusting this so you know that it's not too much. But the treble is gonna get those hi-hats in the background, the high-pitched sounds. That'll put those forward and you'll be able to hear them a lot clearer. Another setting I'll talk about for rock music is the bass boost settings. Now, if your speakers can handle a bass boost, then probably put it on like level one. Um, but you don't want your speakers to be rattly and I've made a bunch of videos about that. So you can check them out in the links in the description or on the playlist, uh, my speakers and sound playlist. And so the last setting I wanna talk about is the fader setting, which adjusts the sound from the front to the back. So for rock music, I would suggest putting the sound maybe two or three clicks to the rear, cause that'll make the sound a little deeper. This doesn't make a huge difference, but try it out with your own car uh, and let me know how it works out. And that's all the settings that you should have to worry about when you wanna make your sound the best it can be for rock music. Again, I'll leave the links in the description for the other videos I mentioned, the playlist for the speakers and sound videos I've made, and for the article that I've based this video on, which also features one of my videos at the, at the bottom of it. Thank you guys for watching. There'll be more videos very soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.